A long time ago, Richard Pito studied mice tumors. He discovered that longer durations of exposure to the carcinogen benzopyrene meant larger probabilities of cancer progression. He wondered why humans, with 3,000 times more cells and 50 times longer lifespan than mice, had similar cancer rates. It made no sense. Smaller animals have fewer cells and should have fewer DNA replication errors. Shorter lives also means less exposure to carcinogen. Maybe this was an anomaly. But elephants and even whales with 2,000 times their cells get very little cancer. This is Peter's paradox, the realization that cancer rate is not correlated to an organism's size. One explanation, hypertumors, the tumors of tumors. In your body, each minute, 96 million cells divide, each cell copying 6 billion DNA base pairs. So much replication causes mistakes, resulting in trillions of mutations daily. Mutations also develop from external factors like UV radiation and virus gene injections. Fortunately, tumor suppressor proteins prevent mutated cell divisions and force controlled cell death. Cancer defeated, right? Not quite. Tumor suppressor genes mutate, contributing to uncontrolled cell production. Cancers are also related to mutations of proto-oncogenes, which are the genes encoding the proteins that relay signals for cell division and regulate programmed cell death, or apoptosis. When these genes mutate, cells can't undergo apoptosis and therefore divide uncontrollably. An analogy for these gene mutations is impaired driving. The sober driver is a normal cell's nucleus. The driver drinking and becoming impaired are the nucleus's genes mutating. And the car speeding, unable to stop because of the impaired driver, is a mutated cell, unable to stop with the visions. Fortunately, animals have T cells. They battle mutated cells by releasing proteins perforin and granzyme that punch in and kill the cell. However, due to mutations, cancer cells are usually unrecognizable, avoiding T-cell detection entirely. The point is, cancer is unstable. Mutations are how cancers live to become tumors. But in tumors, cells still mutate. And because tumors need more time to reach a lethal size in big organisms, substantial amounts of cancer cells can mutate. Eventually, an aggressive mutated cell may regard itself as another cancer or another team. It would continue replicating, redirecting resources, and cutting off resource lines. Cancer would kill itself. But scientists have other Peter's paradox hypotheses. Some suggest that resilient animals have unique tissue architecture or more efficient immune surveillance. Nothing is certain, but maybe one day you'll find out and help cure cancer.